Hello, Sweet Life family. How are you doing today? I am in the Sweet Life factory and I am getting ready to work on another mug, okay? It is a highly, highly requested video for me to go over the mug again, the Cricut mug, using the Cricut mug press and the designing portion of it and to go slow so that you can catch the steps, okay? So I am here. I finally have a opportunity to do it so we are gonna do it today i need to make a mug for someone so i thought how perfect and how fitting it would be if we went through the steps please do not judge my background i am still clearing out stuff out here but if you could see how beautiful the other side looks okay um you would be impressed but you know it is a um trip and a journey sometimes to get your uh garage together all right so no more apologies about that um i am barika one of the three copes to tears i am happy that you have come to join me for this video if this is your first time i want to say welcome you may have come as a guest but you will certainly leave as a friend so go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the little bell notification and set it to all so you're always notified every time we come out with a new video and at the end of this video, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, leave good comments because it is sometimes hard to do these videos. I am a homeschool mom. I have this small portion of time before we get into our studies of the day. So just send me some love, okay? All right, but I do enjoy these videos because it is fun to do to get creative and i love when the project comes together and i definitely love once i gift the project to someone or if it's a project for my business and the client gets that finished product and they have those smiles on their face it just brings joy to my heart i love what i do and i thank god for it every day so with that being said grab your favorite snack get comfy and let's design another cricut mug and use our cricut mug press <laughs> Oh, look at they have video playlists in here now. That's new. Okay, Cricut Mug Press. So basically, you want to say mug design setup. Let me show you. They have a drawn mug design setup. So let's go into this one mug design setup. Open it up. As you can see, it has everything you need to begin. Okay, it has this um, this centering device that you will hide before you print. Okay, it has a smug wrap already there for you. And then it has um, this. Okay, now generally when I am printing my stuff out, I will hide this. I don't need this and I will hide this. Okay, I basically just need this and you can change this color in here. You see that? You just go there and you could change it to any color you want. See, it's changeable. Okay. But basically I need this for my sizing. So when I'm going to find my graphics, I always use my phone. Okay. So let me show you this and you can search graphics. So let's see, um, Donald and Daisy, let's put teacups and see if this picture comes up. All right, and you see what comes up, okay? Uh, let's go to images. So it's actually bringing me the teacup. I want the clip art, not the, I don't want an actual cup, so go clip art. And this will bring up pictures, let's see. And you just gotta go through them to find the picture that you want to use. Now, I already saved my picture, but if I was going to use this picture, let's say I'm using this picture, you would just hold it down and it's going to say add to photos. I don't know how it is for the Android, but um you know, this is for the iPhone. Once you add it to your photos, it will be in your graphics, okay? Just want to say that. 
but I am going to my graphics and this is the picture that I'm using. Isn't this cute? It's Donald and Daisy on the teacups and he is so dizzy, but she's having a ball. So I'm gonna share this to my MacBook, airdrop it in there. Okay, oh, I gotta turn my Wi-Fi on. And I'm sending it to my MacBook. So it will come up here and it's gonna say accept and I wanna save it to my downloads. And then I'm gonna make mention of this number. So that one is gonna be 7938. Okay, so let me just jot that down. 7398, 7398. I'm sorry, 7938. Okay, so I got that in there. Now I need another photo um, because I wanna make sure that my wrap for my mug is not gonna be plain. I saw this, this is actually the lanterns for the teacup ride and a clip art and I am gonna send that over as well. So I'm gonna airdrop that, send it back to the MacBook Pro and I'm gonna accept it like I did that other one, put it in downloads and I'm gonna jot that new number down. That's 9055, okay, and they're JPEGs. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go back into the Cricut software and now I'm going to upload. So in this corner, you press upload, then you want to come here to upload image, browse, and that's where these numbers are gonna come in handy. So first I'm gonna do 9055, and you see the graphic is here. I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna click open. I always go to complex, I don't know the difference. I know this is more fine, well they tell you, high contrast colors, blah, 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 simple details, fine details. This is um, the best of them that I learned. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit continue. I need this whole graphic, so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit continue. And I need the print and cut version, so I'm selecting that. And now that's gonna be in my uploads, okay? I need to go back and do the same thing for Donald and Daisy. And that number was 7938. Alrighty, gonna get that. I'm gonna do the same thing, hit complex. I'm gonna go to here. It's a smaller graphic as you can see. I'm gonna hit continue. I'll take this, but you don't have to worry that it's smaller. It'll be fine. Okay, so now I need both of these, but I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna insert images right here at the bottom. Now you can see it's gonna come up here. I need this as my wrap. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna unlock it. Here's the unlock button right here. And here's the stretching button. I'm gonna stretch it the same length as my wrap and it's a little bit over. Um, so I'm going to put it here. Now I'm gonna un, oh yeah, okay, yeah, all right. So you see that's the wrap. Now I'm gonna hide this blue one cause I don't need that one. Cause I have this one, okay. And then now I'm gonna go back to upload and I'm gonna get Donald and Daisy and I'm gonna click that image and insert again. And now I will have Donald and Daisy once they appear, okay. And then I have to, oh, you know what? I need this. I don't know why I hit this. Okay, because that's not what I was trying to. So I need them to stretch from this mug all the way over to this mug. That's what that's for, okay? Ooh, and I, okay, I was about to say, please stretch. Now, my only issue is that, sheesh, it really doesn't make a difference about the wrap. Look at this. Let me see something, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a square and I am going to do this. I'm gonna unlock the square and I'm gonna divide this image in half like this, okay? Now I'm gonna select this whole thing and I'm gonna slice down here at this bottom. Slice it, okay. Now, I don't need this square. 
and this is in parts. You see this? Hey, okay. Let me get rid of this. Okay, now I got this blue. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me see. Did this cut this? Let's see. Um. Anyway, it's fine. All right. So we're going to put this side here. And then this. Is that how? No. Oh, okay. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to spin this again. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna put this like this. Do, do you see what I'm doing? Because it doesn't matter what it looks like in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna hide this blue thing. And see, now I have... All right. Bring this down some. Okay, like that. Oops. Let me see something. I need to bring this in a little. Okay, like that. All right. So now we have this. Okay. So now we're going to bring Daisy and Donald up. You just got to get creative with this. Daisy and Donald. I need them to come to the front. Send to the front. So now we have them on the front. And actually, you know what? I don't want this piece. I'm gonna take this piece off because I want two of these. Let me duplicate this. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spin this back around because I want this part to be, yeah, you see how you gotta play around with it? Okay, move this out for a second. Undo this again. Bring this over here because I want that blue. I want the lanterns on the outer portion so people can see that it's the lanterns. So you see how you just got to get creative, okay? You can't stress about stuff. Just figure out how you can get what you're trying to get. And I will admit a lot of minds come by way of prayer. Um... It just comes to me. I'm so serious. Okay. And I need this to come to the front again. Move to the front. Now, it doesn't matter that it's all in different pieces because I'm going to end it up. I'm going to end up flattening it. Okay. So, you see, that's the picture that I want. I love it. Okay. Because on each side of the mug, it will have those lanterns. And everyone who knows Disneyland knows that those are those famous lanterns. Okay. Unlock this a little bit. I need this. All right. So there you go. So you don't, excuse me, you don't need this anymore. Now you're going to highlight all of this, right? And you are going to flatten. Here's flatten here. See flatten? Flatten. Now it's one image. Okay? One image. I'm going to save it. Um, save as... I'm going to see Donald and they, I love this, duck teacups. I hope you guys got it this time because I went really slow, okay? If you didn't get it this time, I went slow. There's no noise. Don't blame me. So you see how beautiful that is? Okay, so that's ready. Now it's saved. All you have to do is go make, write this. You do want a mirror. Okay, especially if you have word and you want a mirror, you're going to continue and then you're going to send it to your printer and I have to send it to my printer and I'll be right back. Um, oh, let me just tell you, when you send in your printer, you pick your printer, take off the bleed and always use your system dialog. Um, you're going to go print and there's some things you're going to want in here. Okay to select and hopefully it'll bring up. Okay, so in layout, you wanna go to printer settings. You want to pick presentation, premium presentation paper mat. This is sublimination, okay? So with sublimination, you want to get the mat because then you can always hit best quality, okay? You could have also mirrored here, but I just like the mirror so I don't have any problems. Now I'm gonna hit print. I will come back with the, um, print I'm gonna print it and then um, I will cut it I will show you how to cut it after I print it okay be right back
Now, before you ask me what printer I'm using, I'm using the work Workforce, Epson Workforce um, 7210. Um, also, I know you're gonna ask about what kind of paper do you use? Honestly, I just get sublimination paper. I've never had a problem. Um, currently, I'm using this paper and I just cut it in half. This is, sorry, it's upside down. Um, Printer's Jack, but I have other A-sub. Um, I don't really think it matters that much. I think it's more settings. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't think it really matters what kind of paper it is. I think it's more so the settings. Um, and I use Cosmos ink. Okay. So I've used several, like I said, different papers. I've never had an issue with it. Okay. As far as my cutter is concerned, I have the Cricut Maker. And I also have a silhouette, but I mostly use the Maker for this. Um, I like, excuse me. I like both machines for different reasons, so that's why I have both of them. Um, but I think my main go-to is the Cricut Maker, to be honest. So this graphic is printing out and it's gonna look beautiful. So I'm getting my Maker ready for cutting. And then I will get my heat press and my mug together and we're about to be done. It's not hard to make a mug. It's not, it, it's not time consuming. It just requires creativity and you knowing what you want. So there goes my mug press up there and I have a piece of fabric over it because I haven't gotten a bag for it yet. I need to do that. But there goes my graphic printing out of my printer. I'm a huge Disney fan if you can not not tell. <laughs> um, so yes. So we got the printout and it's looking great. When you're doing sublimation, sublimation, the ink will look duller on the paper, but when you um, press it, it comes out very vibrant and colorful. Beautiful. Uh, also, give your ink time to dry because I can see there's some little wet spots on here. So before I send it through my maker, I'm going to just let that shine dry a little bit because I do not want it to ink up my machine. So however it is showing you that you need to put it on your mat in the design center is how you want to put it on your mat. So that means the... The bottom of the T. Ooh, one, two, three. Ooh. So, however, the maker tells you you're supposed to put it on the mat. That's how you want to put it on the mat. So that means Daisy and Donald's head is going towards the middle of the mat. That's how I want to place it on my mat. Okay, so we got it ready. We're gonna put it in the mat. I'm using an older mat, so I did tape down the corners just because you do not want this to move when it's cutting, um, because it will. That is not going to be your friend. Let it go into the mat. Um, as far as here, the settings that I do use, let me close that out, close that out. Um, I've already printed, if it asks you that. I go to copy paper and I like to hit light less. That's just my preference. You can hit it on default if you want to. And then you go ahead <laughs> and just hit the C to cut your graphic. It's gonna cut it out. So we're back at the heat press and I have my printout ready to go. Here is my sheet of um, parchment paper that I double folded. Um, as you can see, the graphic is cut really neat. Okay, it's very nice. So I use um, any kind of alcohol wipes to clean the outside of the mug. You just wanna make sure that there's no debris on it. This is irritating me. Uh, let's see. All right, let's do it like that. Okay, so I'm going to take the mug and I'm going to clean any of the debris off of it. Clean it, just clean around it and go ahead and let that dry a little bit. I, again, I'm using this heat tape and I already cut my strips of the tape. Let that dry. Okay, so the mug is really clean and dry. I tried the lint roller mug method, but that did not work for me. So I'm over that. 
Just make sure it's really dry, okay? Because you don't want it to be wet and smear your image. Swing it back and forth. Okay. You can tell when it's dry. The alcohol dries pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm going to place my mug in the center of the graphic like this. I want to make sure it's flush on all sides and I want to make sure it's even in the back. Like I want to make sure it's even on both sides in the back before I start taping it. I don't want it to be closer to one side of the handle than the other. So I just keep kind of messing around with it until I say like, oh, no, like I can tell that is not center. Okay. All right, and I'm satisfied with that. And just make sure it's flush on the bottom and the top. So you want it to be flush and you want it to be pulled as tight as you can. So I'm gonna set it down here and I'm gonna start taping it. I got my strips of tape. And I'm going to tape one side and, a, and around the lip of the mug. And then I'm going to tape this side and around the bottom of the cup. Ooh, sheesh. Okay. And then I'm going to pull, but you don't want to pull too tight. And you still want it to be flush. But you do want to pull a little bit. Not to the point where you're about to rip it, but just so you can get a good grip. Let's see. And then you're going to tape this like that because you don't want any shadowing. Okay, so you got that around the mug clip. I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm just trying to do it right now. Like that. And tape around the lip. So this is what you got here. And I'm going to tape in the center as well. Like that. And in this center. So you just try to taper really well, okay? As far as up here, you don't really have to worry too much. It's gonna do what it's gonna do, okay? All right. And so you got a flush here. You got a flush here. And then I'm going to take my parchment paper and I'm gonna do the same thing. And let me just say this. I like to cut off any excess at the top because it does create kind of like a burning if it's there. So let me cut all this excess off. Let's see. I'm going to cut off this much of here. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to tape that down. Got the piece of tape. So that can be taped down. And I'll do another piece of tape. So you see, it's all gent gently done. Like that. Let me get another piece of tape. This part might be hard. And again, I'm going to show you. All right. Okay, so that's done. And it's all flush at the bottom. This is flush. What I generally do is just trim any excess off the top. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just like to do it. It's up to you. Okay, that's good enough. See that? Okay. Now we're going to put our mug inside the heat press. Like that. Center it. And then you're going to close the clamp like that. And now it's set. It's going to do what it's going to do. Okay, so the one, one, two, three, four, five lights already went off. It alerted me. Beep, beep, beep. I was inside getting set up for school. So, so as you can see, I have a little browning, but not too bad. Um, it is said that you're supposed to let it cool for 15 minutes before you unwrap it. So I just set um, my mug on my little Mickey trivet 
If you want to know where I got that from, it was Amazon. It came with a Mickey and Minnie. And I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes. Let it cool. I always just set on my little watch. 15 minutes, let it cool, and then I'll come back. So we're going to undo the mug to see the progress of how it came out. Okay, so I took off the parchment paper and now we are going to take off the mug and I'm excited to see the tape. Ah, it's so hard to get this tape off sometimes. Oh, look at how beautiful it looks! I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, goodness gracious, it's so cute. Let me see. Wouldn't that be a shame if I just like dropped it? Eh, okay. That's cute. Let's see. Oh, it's so fun. It's a fun mug. I love it. Look at it. You got the um the lantern. Sorry. Look at Daisy enjoying herself, and Donald is like, ah, this is actually me and my husband, because my husband don't be really liking the thrill rides no more. But I like it. It's a fun mug. It's very cute. I love it. It's so adorable. I like it. So that is the process of the mug. I hope that you enjoyed it. So, that is the mug. Look how cute it is. I love it. It's so nice. And like I said, this is a gift. Um, if I could have found a little bit more clearer picture, because the colors are popping. They look great. If I could have found a little bit more clearer picture, I would have picked it. But that was the only one they had of this graphic. And for the, the um, gift swap that I'm doing, it's a Daisy and Donald theme. And I thought this was just so cute and whimsical. But as far as the colors, I'm happy they're popped in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. All right, that's it. Remember the sweet life is the right life and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.